now the actual reveal What's up fam, Rahim here and welcome to part 2 of my DJI FPV arm repair episode To keep you up to speed, I crashed my DJI FPV weeks ago and now I'm doing a DIY repair of the right rear arm Now you can watch the crash and also the part 1 of this repair in the playlist I'll leave it at the end of this episode So in part 1, I've taken apart the drone and I've discovered that the breakage was within the arm Now I see that there are a lot of things happening in the arm but I felt that it was nothing that I needed to attend to Okay, it's broken, I needed to change the whole arm so it was as simple as just um, desoldering the three wires of the motor, unplugging the LED light here, and then you're good to go, right? I didn't choose to go and order spare parts. Instead, I just uh, took it off from my spare DJI FPV. Now, I did exactly the same. The thing here is that for some reason, the signal wire, right? Uh, this is your controller signal wire. It was supposed to just slide off, but instead, it kind of got pinched within the arm so after taking off all the screws i pulled off the arm and i ripped the controller um, signal wire here right so the plug is still stuck on the drone now it's kind of wedged here so now i'm very curious like yeah there's a lot of um things going on here and how did you manage to squeeze an led bar inside here so i'm guessing actually after some assessment from the initial broken arm it looks like there are actually two parts right there's like a reinforcement arm that links to the body and then there's this part which is just like a canopy the, the thing that covers that reinforcement arm so it's time to get the dremel out and let's see what's inside the arm of the dji fpv so as evasive as this sounds i'm actually doing this so that i can salvage most of the parts here that are not broken i got a perfectly good working motor and light bar and also the light bar cover here all right so i'm just going to be cutting up the areas that are already broken all right let's go all right so before i begin this operation i'm going to salvage whatever i can first first is going to be this panel which needs a 1.5 mm hex driver to open it up and then for the motor you'll need a 2 mm hex driver uh, it is mounted by three screws and there is also loctite on it so it's gonna take a bit of arm strength to remove it For this chip, it is glued on. The connecting points are here, right? So firstly, I'm just gonna remove the um, the wires attached to it, right? It's just really just pull it off, right? The the clips will come off, and then you just need to pry this thing apart, right? All right, there's the chip, all intact. I'm gonna save that. And next it's time to get the motor out so since the wires are, are already disconnected from the ESC all you need to do is just pull it out and there is your DJI FPV motor the LED wires are connected and stuck with the panel that is inside so I'm just gonna begin cutting and try not to cut um, any of the wires Okay, didn't feel like I hit anything inside, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, the reveal. Okay. 
Okay, a bit more, a bit more. Alright, that was so anticlimactic, but uh, alright, now the actual reveal. Yes. Okay. So now we know. Or at least so now I know. Um, so as I was uh, making presumptions, yes, it's right, there is. This is just an outer panel where there is an actual um, arm, alright, that connects from, this portion connects to the body of the DJI FPV. But, um, I had thought that if I made such a cut, I would figure it out like, okay, I'm salvaging these parts, then maybe I can go and sort it out on next time that this happens, I can know how to do this swap. But, there is a problem here which is because this arm is not clipped on this is residue of glue being used and whose fingerprint is this while away let's cut some more let's see what more we can learn from this arm okay i'm gonna get this fella done Okay, so there's your LED panel. Um, I'm gonna try to get this, um, I don't know, LED panel cover, LED cover or whatever you wanna call it. Okay, let's get this fella out. Okay, why am I even bothering with this? Because I, I on my first crash, I actually lost this part, right? So yeah, just gonna save it and then at least can use it for in case another crash happens. What have I learned from this is that um, have a look here. It actually just clips in from this part and um, it's secured by the end portion here. So probably it went in this way. Let's give it a try. Okay, so it clips in like this and just clip in done ah okay so next time during the removal i know which way to pry open first gotta get this portion out okay gonna try to save the light panel actually i don't need to make any more cuts the panel can be removed from here Okay, okay, just moving, come on. Yes! Okay, so let's make sense of this circuit here. Um, where we found the, this connector, it was at the circuit board over at the main body. So I'm guessing that there's power, um, positive, negative, and also a signal line. And that goes to this part, the LED at the end. Right, it connects up to the LED. And then 
uh, things go on here and then it travels back um, into this red yellow and black wire which goes to the led panel um as you know your dji fpv all the lights here are controlled with different colors and all that right so usually um that is where you need a signal line to control the different pat uh, color patterns okay there is a crack here but i it looks like it doesn't matter because this is only the supporting part of the whole board the looking at the different color shades the circuitry runs around this area and to the power lines so there's nothing here uh, to worry about so now having seen the innards of the dji fpv arm right nothing tells me that anything got to do with signal is here all right there's no signal board signal chip or whatsoever so um i'm just guessing that the signal wire as per part one of this video that's correct um the the new arm that i took out i think that piece is just stuck on the glue or something right the, and so that's where when i yanked it out it pulled along the wire and yeah it tore apart i'm not done here so this is the panel that was on the arm let's see um how this part connects to the body i'm gonna attempt to pry pry this thing out a cut here will be very good That is some strong glue, man. Oh, coming off, coming off. Ah, nice. Okay, that would have been the connection of the DJI FPV arm where you have um, this piece uh, connecting to the body itself and it would then have been you would then slide in in the arm then where this portion is just the motor mount and a covered panel so to call it uh yeah too bad they didn't have like some sort of clips that i could easily just remove it but instead they use um cement glue that kind of dampened my um idea of uh, salvaging the part so I can do the repair myself because having looked at the innards of the DJI FPV arm I kind of think that it's not something that um, is easily can be done by any individual so depends on what was the damage done you could do such a DIY repair yourself or if not in this case yeah uh, yeah I can't really like let's say I wanted to change just a light panel it can't be done because it's already glued the, this part is already glued in place so anyways uh, this episode is just about having to know the innards of the DJI FPV arm I'm gonna wrap it up right here because there is still a uh, part 3 which I will reassemble the arm and then take it out to fly but it is raining heavily outside now guys I really don't have much of an opportunity to go and fly the drone out till then right i'm gonna wrap it up right here if you've liked this episode do give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already chat with me i'll get back to you as soon as i can pilots as always i'll see you see you how do i do this salute okay that should do it see you in the skies peace and i'll see you in the third episode where i'll also reveal the new paintwork for my dji fpv right take care fam